So hi everyone. Um, today I will be doing a different video. I'll be explaining my experience at Southern New Hampshire University and also how I was able to achieve a bachelor's degree as well as a master's degree in less than five years. Um, so let me just give you a little history of what happened. So in Jamaica, I was a forest officer. Oh, I'm working from home, so I'll periodically get emails. But um, I was a forest officer and I had an interest in environmental research and that kind of stuff. But when I came to America, I had to throw all that away because number one, I'm in the north, I'm in Pennsylvania, so half the year, or I would say four or five months, you know, I wouldn't be able to be an active force officer as, in, as I mean, I guess I couldn't, I don't know. Um, but I realized I needed to figure out a different career uh, opportunity. So a lot of people encouraged me to go into nursing because they're like, you know, that's where the money's at and blah, blah, blah. You'll never be out of work. So I went ahead and I started working at a group home doing direct care. I also got my CNA license, never use it because you don't need that to work in group homes in Pennsylvania. So um, while I was doing that, I moved to Harrisburg because I was living in the countryside. I moved to Harrisburg and I went to an orientation at um, community college and I realized that being here on my own, not having family or any kind of support, no spouse, no partner, nothing, I was gonna be in for a long ride. At the time, they did not offer part-time nursing. You'd have to be full-time, which wouldn't work for me because I need full-time employment for my health insurance. Um, and I'm the kind of person I can't, I become physically ill if I try to push myself too much. Um, the last time I did it, well, yeah, I started having a thyroid issue and then I started having a heart issue. So a lot of times people say to me, oh, but you could have pushed. I'm like, yeah, I'd rather to be alive than push and, you know, end up being disabled and then I can't do anything at all. But anyway, um, in 2015, July 2015, I started looking up schools and I tried Penn State. And of course, Penn State was saying, you know, I would have to do the SATs or some other thing. And I'm like, I really don't have time for this. Um, what was ironic, though, all my searches brought me to Southern New Hampshire University because they just needed my, because they're competency based, so they just needed my high school diploma and some other stuff. And I went ahead and I started a psychology degree. Now, because I'm from the islands and we tend to prefer very traditional things, I questioned myself throughout the entire degree. I really did. I was like, because some part, like the, the last parts of the psych degree was a little challenging, but the first part was easy. It was really easy. I just needed to read a lot and write my papers. Now, when I spoke to other people from Jamaica that came here and did traditional br brick and mortar, they explained that it was so easy as well. So I realized it was not necessary because the work was easy. It's because I'm from a tough country where A's and B's are very difficult to get you know, it's very hard to even get those in the first place. And then you come here and it seems a lot easier. But anyway, I was able to get my bachelor's degree in two and a half years, how I did it. So I stayed working at the group home, which allowed me, I think, three days off. Um, I, I did what is called CLEP exams, which I don't remember what the abbreviation stands for. I could look it up right now. Uh, Okay, CLEP exams. Uh, what is CLEP? I'm sorry, it's taking a while. The college level examination program. So I was very good at sociology in high school, so I went ahead and I just took it. I got, I think it was 70 something. And then I did English just like, I didn't do anything. I was sat the English exam. I didn't score the highest on there, but it was acceptable since it was English one. Um, and then I started, I started with one course and then I went to two and then I went to three. Um, and I searched when it got time for the internship, I went ahead and I looked for an internship myself. My degree was uh, psychology and addiction. So I found a 90 day rehab center to do my 150 hours. Um, and that went, that went pretty well. And I was done in two and a half years, the same year. 
um, I started looking for jobs and to my surprise, I got a ton of offers. I mean, I was shocked. Um, I think one of the things that excited employers was the fact that I was able to teach myself because a lot of experienced um, employers, especially those that have dealt with online and competency-based education before, they realize that you have to have a lot of discipline and time management to do these degrees. You don't have the force or, you know, of having other students around you doing the same thing or you're on your own and you're the one that's going to owe money. So um, I did reject a couple job offers because I didn't feel like I was ready to leave the group home because I liked it so much. So what I did, I started looking for master's programs and I wanted to do counseling or master's of public health. Since I couldn't get in the healthcare system through nursing, I wanted to still be in there, but on an administrative level. Um, and I checked out Penn State. Penn State was interested in me being a part of them, but they were too expensive. George Washington University was also interested, but their tuition was $74,000 for the program, which is an 18-month program. Um, there was also University of Scranton. They were forty five grand, And I'm like, I don't know about all that. I wanted to go to University of Scranton because it's in Pennsylvania, and I kind of wanted a hybrid kind of situation but that was too much. And so it Rhodes led me back to Southern New Hampshire University. And um, I will tell you though, when it gets to the master's level, I couldn't tell you how many times I wanted to quit, but I was embarrassed because I already posted it on Facebook and I told people about it and people were very proud of me. And so I had to fight through it. The hardest course for me though was biostatistics because I'm not a math person, but I paid a tutor to help me. I also use a a lot of YouTube videos, a lot. And I also did a lot of Google searches and searching for formulas and stuff. And I was able to come out with a B plus. I'm so amazed. Now, I finished pretty strong because my final paper was right after I did an internship at a health center, um, all the health services that cater to uh, marginalized um, people. And I was able to use their testing data to come up with identifying um, factors affecting um, people seeking health care and healthcare behavior. And, you know, at the end of that analysis, I realized that while a significant proportion of the people that saw this service were uh, members of the LGBTQ community, there were also a lot of Hispanic women and white women and black heterosexual males that had poor sexual behavior. I mean, it was really bad. And it also contradicted the claim that um, people of the LGBTQ community, especially gay men, were more likely to um, have high risk behaviors. Now their partners, they tend to have more partners because of the, a lot of problems in the gay community, which I'll talk to in another video, but they also took more precautions than heterosexual people did. So that was my analysis. Now, I happened to graduate right when COVID started and I applied for a lot of jobs. Some of them I did not hear back from, about 60% of them, I would get the, you know, we chose other candidates. Um, and I was so frustrated. I felt bad. I started trying other things. I would dumb down my resume. I would take the masters off. Um, I would take off the thing that I'm trying to take the CLEP exam, not the CLEP exam, sorry, the uh, CHES exam, Certified Health Education Program. Um, you know, I mean, sorry, specialist. I took that off of there and I dumbed down my resume. Um, and I mean, for almost a year, I wouldn't get anything. I got one job as a case manager, which I'm doing now, which I next week is my last week. Um, and I was just frustrated. I started thinking, oh my God, maybe, you know, employers are not respecting the online program. Maybe, I don't know what it is. I felt really bad with this $50,000 in debt, which is good for having two degrees. Um, uh, Oh, I forgot to tell you. So I did double up on my classes in the middle of my master's degree because those were writing courses. But when it got to the end, especially by statistics, I dropped back to one, but I still finished within, I think, 16 months. But anyway, so I wasn't getting anything. And then once I guess employees realized that COVID is going to be around for a while, I started getting calls. I started getting LinkedIn requests for job positions. I was getting all kinds of stuff. And it was shocking. Um, this one company I applied for a while back, they reached out and they were like, could you send an updated copy of your resume? And so I did. And they're like, 
we want you. It's an associate director position. They're like, we want you. And then I got another uh, offer from a hospital to work in a crisis uh, department in the emergency room. And they were also bargaining. And I was shocked. I was like, for the last nine months, I was basically looking to probably go back to a group home because I was so frustrated. And they were like, and when it really hit me that it's real, you know, everything that I did was worth it is when they started saying, oh, make sure you send your master's degree. This would look so good for a company. I, I really want this to be a part of a team. And I'm like, for anybody out there doubting it, let me tell you something. Southern New Hampshire is fantastic, okay? They're not over the top like some other schools, which I will not mention, where they do anything for you to pass. I've known a lot of people that failed out of classes, people that weren't getting the material because they're not the type to teach themselves. So it's not that everybody comes in and passes. They have a 62% retention rate, which isn't bad, but it also tells you that people fail as well. So it's not like this easy ABC thing that everybody just passes and gets. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a degree mill. In fact, one of the reasons I chose Southern New Hampshire is because one of my friends from Jamaica actually went on campus and he told me that the education is basically the same. They actually let go a professor because he made like a minor error in teaching something. They are serious. It's a serious school. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that go there, but you know, at the end of the day, online and hybrid programs are also becoming the norm because people are busy, you know, and for you to think of being an adult with two jobs or a full-time job and having a child, how are you going to make it to a campus? And the most interesting thing about my class, my master's class, it made me really realize that I needed to work hard. I was the lesser of everybody in that class. I mean, we had, I think, four physicians um a couple people working in um, labs there was one forensic lab person and then there were a bunch of nurses um, and nurse practitioners and i was able to grasp a lot of education from them about the healthcare system and how a lot of these concepts work so at the end of the day though i will say you have to make sure this is what you want you can't just jump on an online program and be like okay it's going to be a lot easier because it takes a lot more reading and you can't piggyback on other people's experience that much you have to learn on your own and if your time management suck you're going to procrastinate a lot and you're going to frustrate some professors and your grades are going to reflect it so you know but i'm very happy with the education i got it comes out when I meet other people that actually went on on-campus programs or went to other online programs, and I'm asking them about concept, and they're like, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, I learned all of that at Southern New Hampshire. But, you know, if you are planning to do an online program, do your research, make sure it's accredited, make sure, look for reviews, look for what people are saying, if they're able to get jobs with their degrees and all that kind of stuff. And Leave your comment below. Let me know what you think about if you've been to Southern New Hampshire, you're planning to go. Until then, see you next time.